you just witnessed one of the new and most powerful AI tools ever made called Luna.ai, which people are saying it's smarter, faster, and even more dangerous than Sora. So today we're gonna put that to the test and use the image to video generation tool to bring my girlfriend's photos to life. By the way, she is a photographer and we're gonna get her reaction. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this interesting AI tool that everyone's talking about. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys the basics to get started with Luna AI. But first, let's take a quick look of some of the results people have gotten. Just look at the way the fire moves behind the goblin talking and the slow pushing of the camera, or the way the fabric flows in the wind behind the lady and the natural way she blinks her eyes. But this clip of the house exploding is just amazing to me. Keep in mind, this is all AI generated with just one click of a button. For other AI generators, it might take up to 15 tries to get something this good. But with Luna AI, it's actually quite easy to get usable videos. I put the link in the description so after the video, you guys could try it out. To sign up, head over to Luna.ai, then click try out button and then you guys could log in with a Google account. On the home page, you guys will see a prompt bar to start creating AI videos. Now I could enter my own prompt, but actually I want to try out some of the suggested prompts listed below. You could click through some of the example ideas right here. Let's use this prompt of an extreme close-up footage of a young sailor woman with a concerned expression during a rainstorm. And here's what we got. Again, the details look great and it seems like it creates a scene from different camera angles. From the shot of her concerned face and to the two boats in the ocean, I for sure could see this being useful for a quick b-roll shot for your videos or films. Again, it's not 100% perfect, but it's still 98% there. Only because there are some still weird things going on in the shot. It looks like the AI is trying to recreate the girl right there, but it just looks like a weird blob. Let's do another prompt, like the fast FPV drone flying through a European castle, beginning with an aerial view of the tower stone walls and turrets, then gliding through the open window into a grand interior house. Damn, that sounds way more complex than the first one, but let's see if the Luna can do that. And here's what we got. It pretty much nailed it on the first part, showing off the exterior of the castle. But once again, it, when it comes to the window, it started to glitch out with the guy's neck and really doesn't show much of the grand interior house. By the way, the videos generated are five seconds long at 24 frames per second, and the resolution 1360 by 752. Now, the most impressive results came from using the image to reference to generate the videos. I went with this photo of a female pilot and just entered a simple prompt like female pilot speaking to people. And wow, honestly, I wasn't expecting this. Look how the AI created a character outside of the screen and the camera slowly follows. Although the hands were a bit glitchy, this seems way better than anything else out there. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty nervous about importing my girlfriend's photos here because she's a photographer and she will flip out if there's any distortion. She's either gonna love it or she's gonna hate it. Full disclosure, when AI tries to add a lot of motion, there is some warping and distortion, especially when the AI tries to do something that's just too much and can't maintain the proper structure. I do hope they add some motion sliders that let us control the amount of motion we want to be animated in the videos, but I do like when the subject turns and the AI could read the image and guess what the back will look like. And I did try to animate one of my girlfriend's photos of herself that I took. The motion is a bit jerky and added an extra leg, but everything else seems really, really good. So I went and created a few more so I could show her later and get her reaction. So stay tuned for that. And to download your videos, just go to my creations and scroll down to find the videos you want to download. Then underneath the video player, click the download button. I'm scared. Alright. <laughs> you so, have like a French kissing or something. So this is what I spit out. <laughs> <laughs> the first couple seconds look more real than that. Than the last part. See, look at how it kind of like shows off how your butt will look like in the other side of the frame. Yeah, they made us into they made us into like a European couple or something. I'm scared. Why is there a random leg? What the? <laughs> Do you think she looks like you? No. I mean, most of it looks pretty accurate, and then oh, why is there a random leg there? But I mean, the hair. I mean. The hair stays pretty consistent, Yeah, right? the hair, that's my hair. Yeah, I heard AI is not good at making fingers. I mean, that's still pretty crazy. Like the first couple seconds actually looks like the photo moves. And then afterwards, it kind of just start, like, it just looks like a cartoon or it looks like someone else. It looks like AI stuff, you but know? But the first couple seconds actually looks really good.
That and wasn't good, but the background looks really good. Yeah, that's right. The background would stay consistent. Yeah, the background looks really good. Oh, that's pretty good, except the face. But... Yeah, the face is that, but like everything else is... It looks like I'm in a video game. Yeah, there's a little sim character. I think <laughs> this is the best one. But I like the... I think I'm more impressed with the background. Yeah, the, yeah, like, like the details on the dress too, and the, that's really impressive. I didn't notice that. They just messed up on the face. They look really, yeah, I really feel like distorted. on faces in general, they don't do that good. Like maybe you have some loved ones that died or something, and you're just like looking at photographs together. It'd be really cool to put it through the app, and getting to see like their family member like moving with them or interacting with them. I think it'll be really special. That'd be cool. Or fucked up too. Because what if they turn like into the whole new person? It's all ugly. I'm assuming AI is going to get better and it's going to improve, but this is a really good start. Right now, Luna.ai is bombarded with a lot of video requests. So it may be kind of slow, but this is going to be a big leap forward for AI video generation, in my opinion. I was waiting for Sora, but to be honest, after trying Luna AI, I think it's as good. If you guys want to see why I fired my entire editing team and replaced them with only six AI tools, watch that right here.